What's going on guys, it's Shu here bringing you a, another movie review, this time on Five Nights at Freddy's, FNAF for short. I'm a little behind on this one, I've watched this a couple weeks ago, but I absolutely loved this movie. I don't care about the Rotten Tomato scores, I am personally liking this movie because of what it represents, rather than the plot itself. It wasn't as scary as a lot of people would have wanted it to be, and I understand that, but there were definitely some moments where I did have a little bit of a jump. So I definitely really enjoy that. But overall, I love how these movies went. I'll talk a little bit more about the impact that it has on me personally. But getting into this actual review, we actually see that for those that have played the games, it combines certain elements for, I want to say, the first main five games. Just to kind of throw that out there. And then, of course, uh, Security Breach, because there was a major change there in character. But I absolutely was okay with that. We start off with Josh Hutchinson's character, Mike, who is having a tough time. He is playing security guard at a mall, and this is taking place in the late, two, I mean, early 2000s, which is kind of interesting. And we see that he loses his job when he sees that he, well, he beats up a innocent man who he had thought was stealing a child. This, of course, uh, does make things very difficult. He has lost many jobs as is. And he meets with Steve Craglin, who is played by Matthew Lillard. His character provides him a nighttime job. He actually is just kind of weird, weirded out when he reads Mike's last name, which he doesn't even pronounce. Uh, we come to find out that his last name is Schmidt. That is one of the names of the security guards that we had throughout the games. In the fact, the first game and. He's very hesitant because it's a night shift job. Someone that has worked nights for a long time, I understand that it's very difficult. He's having these, ha having issues basically, not being able to um, also take care of his younger sister. Uh, her name is Abby. She is not your typical child. She's having issues making friends and she likes to speak through drawings. So very difficult for Mike as well. And so we see that there are people around him that don't want the best interest for him or his sister. That includes his aunt, who basically hired the babysitter that was taking care of Mike's sister in order to get intel and make it look bad. However, these people do get their their up and comings. Basically, they they let's base, let's just go with they don't make it to the end of the movie. Uh, but Mike has no other choice than to take Abby with him to work. He meets Vanessa. Vanessa was a character that we had been introduced in Security Breach, who we actually had changed up here, where she's introduced here. She knows so much about Finance of Freddy. I mean, the, the yeah, the game of, I mean, sorry, the place of uh, Freddy's Pizzeria. And we actually see that they become friends. She knew a lot about this whole situation. And it was kind of surprising Mike. Uh, as the movie goes on though, we see that Abby is kind of playing with the animatronics, becoming their friends. And we have Mike having these dreams as well. And one of the ones was crazy where he tried to reach the kid who had a claw or a, a hook. And that was Foxy's spirit. And that was one of the things that I thought was kind of interesting. Seeing that in this movie, we were able to see the spirits of the kids within the movie which was actually cool and we see that Mike wants nothing more to know than what happened to his brother back in the day he lost his brother he was taken away at a camping trip and that's what led to their family not being themselves Abby was born but their parents just weren't able to sustain the situation and so when he was presented with the opportunity to be back with his family, I say that in quotation marks, he took it but realized that this was not the right idea. This is not what it needs to happen. And so we have him basically regretting this decision, but they are convinced they don't care anymore. They want to have Abby become an animatronic. And we see that they're going to put her in this robot that looked like Baby because of the name, but it was actually a different animatronic. Um, they don't succeed thankfully Vanessa helps out and she reveals to uh, Mike that she is William Afton's daughter who was behind all these things and we have William Afton showing up Steve Craglin or Raglin sorry uh, shows up reveals that he is in fact Springtrap which was kind of cool I absolutely love seeing that 
and um, we see that Abby reveals the truth to the animatronics and then they turn on William and of course we have him saying the famous line I'll always come back which is something that we we knew they was hoping for and it was great I absolutely love that movie ends Vanessa was at, was stabbed by her father she's in the hospital Abby's doing better and it's looking like it's setting up for a sequel movie which is honestly something I look forward to tremendously overall the movie was a bit choppy but I absolutely loved seeing this because we had youtubers involved and something that I grew up watching as a young man I honestly related to this and so it really was something special to finally see after so many years and I absolutely loved that so fantastic job on their end I wish they, they did the best that they could when it came to the animatronics and I understand that but I'm hoping for better and bigger for the next movie that they do come out with because it looks it, it's looking like it is so guys if you have watched this let me know what you guys think i'd love to know as always though guys stay safe take care of yourselves and others and i will catch you all later